Morning guys, welcome back. Uh, if I seem a little bit tired, um, <laughs> thank you Pap. <laughs> I was on the live stream for eight hours till four o'clock this morning and apparently didn't finish till half five. Um, I've got to go back and look up the rest of it. Um, if anybody was on there that uh, <laughs> could tell me if... Um, DJ Sonic actually uh, survived the night. <laughs> it would be nice. But great time. Great to see all you guys in there. And uh, i got to uh, say a big thank you to Dan. That was only my um, second, I think it was, ever going on a live stream visually, as it were. Um. I hope to be doing a lot more of it. At the moment, I can only do StreamYard, but uh, I am sorting a live out for me own this end. But anyway, let's get into it today. Today, um, single subject, um, that's been going on with it now, and it's about Patel and the channel paddlers. Now, we, we all saw and watched in many times live last year what was going on and Patel giving millions and millions to France to stop them no that, that didn't happen that they, they happily took our money and stood on the beaches waving them off yep they really gonna try and stop it and they so what does she do she spends more millions on new equipment for Border Force to stop them coming. Nope, that just gave them more boats to bring more in. And then she got the RNLI involved, which again, brought more in. Wasn't doing anything to stop them. And then now she spent multi-million on a new processing centre in Dover. And renting hundreds and hundreds of hotel rooms for them. And she came out with a figure of 28,000 last year. You lied, Patel. A by head by head count by boots on the ground counted over 30,000. And that's only the ones that they could uh, see. There was many more that got by that couldn't. So your 28,000 is way out. Absolutely way out. I mean, TW Media and a few others were down there and they've got a clicker. There you go. That's how accurate they are. Everyone that comes up the ramp, click. So we know what the true figures are. But now she's changed her tack. She wants to build processing centres way out in the middle of the Atlantic, in the Atlantic, it, the uh, Ascension Islands. Um, now, there's only one reason she'd have done this right out there, or wants to do it right out there, and that's to keep it away from these. So we can't see what's going on. Yeah, we're on to that one as well. But... She said it will be cheaper. The cheapest option is to stop them coming, not processing them. But I presume that she's going to spend millions and millions on this because they've got to fly them out there. They ain't going to ship them out there by boat. They'll get processed out there. They'll get given their papers. And what happens then? She flies them back. They've got a piece of paper so they can enter England legally. And then when they get here, there goes the housing again. There's the paying for the hotel bills. Um, there will be a few that get lucky and get offered jobs in the care sector and the NHS. We know that's why Patel wants them in here. 
but how will it be cheaper? You're still going to get the few that are going to come across illegally. So you've still got to pay for border force to cover that. <laughs> you have failed at everything you have done. Patel, failed. Now, if you really, really want to help this country, in my opinion, pack your bags and fuck off. You're no good to us. No good at all. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it there for today. I, I haven't got that many notes written down, obviously, uh, we had the family round yesterday and uh was it yesterday i can't remember now ed's going on i'm just too tired i've had four hours sleep in about the last 36 no 48 yeah 48 <coughs> so i'm going to leave it there for today um i'll keep an eye on what's happening today if i can stay awake um, we have got some important bills coming up this week, which are getting a read through. I shall be keeping an eye on them and keep you up to date on what happens there. But until then, welcome to the new subs, especially the ones from last night. Nice to have spoke to you all on there. Hope you enjoy what I do. If not, you know, f feel free. I'm not for everybody. Um, I do vary in videos, um, I do have another channel, um, which was a backup channel, but I'm going to be putting all sorts of odds and sods on there, and uh, all the links in below as to my other channel and channels that I follow and support, but anyway, until the next one guys, my respects to each and every one of you. And thank you very much for your support. And until we meet again, stay safe, stay strong, stay free from the tyranny. I'm gone. <laughs>